No, that isn't any problem. Thank you. Dr. Shannon's waiting for her. Where is he? Yeah. I've already told you. We're trying to locate him. Uh, just go right ahead. We'll catch the paperwork on your way out. you got to tell him he's getting out again. Did you tell him that? Mr. Werner, there are a lot of doctors here. Can't someone else help you? No. No. I've got to talk to Dr. Avila. He's here. He's got to be here. He's back there, isn't he? He just doesn't want to talk to me. Dr. Avila is not here. We're trying to locate him. Now, why don't you go sit down over there and I'll call you the minute he comes in. No! I can't. He's getting out again. He's got to stop him. Okay. Okay. Try Dr. Avila again and alert Mr. Blue. No. Not Mr. Blue. That's security. They cannot stop him. Only Dr. Avila can. Why don't you listen? Nobody ever listens! All right. All right. Doc Avila. Are you all right? Hey, Glenn. Can you hear me? It's me, Doc Avila. Hey, come on. Uh, we have to talk. Yeah, it's me. Come on. Huh? We huh? have to talk, son. You wanted to see me last night, didn't you? What? I said you wanted to see me last night. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, let me alone. Come on. come on now. Come on. Swing your feet over. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Get up. Come on. Swing your feet over. Come on. Snap back. Hey, hey, hey! 
<laughs> now listen to me. You went to the hospital last night to find me. I wasn't there. And you told the nurse, he's out again. Do you remember? Is he out again? Did the beast get out again, Glenn? I can't remember. Now, come on, now try. Try hard. Come on, now look. You left the hospital. Where'd you go? Did you go to your parents' home? Is that where you went? No. Come on, try and remember. It's important, please. I don't know. I don't remember. You haven't been taking your medication. Have you? Have you? Look at that. You've missed about four days. I've got to know after the hospital. Where'd you go? Nowhere. I was here, wasn't I? All right, Warner. Let's talk about the voices again. Did you recognize the voice? We've been over this a hundred times already. I don't remember. But you do remember going to the hospital last night? Yes. No, I mean, did you go or did you not go to the hospital around 11 o'clock last night? Yes, but... So you do remember. No, I told you, Dr. Avalet told me I was there. Werner, when did you decide to kill your father? I told you. I don't know how many times I told you. I don't remember doing it. Maybe I didn't. Then who killed him? Dr. Quincy? Yes. I'm Sal Angeletti, Deputy DA, Psychiatric Section. Glad to meet you. These are all the documents that your office requested. Now, there are some photographs of the mutilations I wanted to warn you. Thanks. Why don't you take a look at the killer and look at these? That's he's a psychiatrist. Tony Avila, Marshall State yes, Dr. Yeah, Quincy, medical examiner. He one of your patients? I don't remember. For the last couple of years, anyhow. Look, I've told him already this is a waste of time. Glenn doesn't remember a thing, I guarantee it. You'd be surprised what some of these guys remember with a little persuasion. Shh. Warden, you stay put. I'll be right back. Let you continue doing this. You got nothing to say about it, Doctor. His lawyer gave us full consent. The boy is sick. That boy is a cold blooded killer. It's a dosage slightly. Most likely you'll be a little drowsier. Your mouth will be a lot drier. It's all right. I don't give a damn. Hope to hell me. They send me to the gas chamber. That's where I belong. Well, I've got news for you, Glenn. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. I think you're going to be back with us for a while. No. Not after what I did. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve to live. What? Doc. you got to fix it for me. What do you mean? I want you to tell the judge they gotta kill me. Why? After what I did? My own father? Jeff? My little sister? You gotta ask why? Glenn, tell me the truth. We have a doctor-patient confidentiality. Whatever you tell me goes no further than my ears. Look at me, son.
When you killed them, did you know what you were doing? Of course not. What... Could anyone do something like that if they knew what they were doing? The law understands that. See, the law says that you're not responsible for a criminal act if you lack the mental ability to form intent. And since you didn't know what you were doing, you couldn't possibly have formed the intent to do it. Do you understand? Yeah. I did it, but I'm not responsible. That's right. You tell me, doctor. How do I explain that? To my brother and my sister. How do I explain that to them? Ryan Werner, information number 683832, which charged you with three counts of murder in the first degree, violation of section 187 of the penal code. You have previously entered a plea of guilty to those counts, is that correct? Yes, it is, Your Honor. Having previously pled guilty to three counts of murder in the first degree, in violation of section 187 of the penal code, and this court sitting without a jury, having heard all the evidence from both sides on the issue of insanity, has reached a decision. Now, before my decision is read, let me first say, this court has been presented with a particularly difficult decision. I have reviewed all the testimony entered with emphasis placed on psychiatric testimony from both sides of the bar. In analyzing this testimony and the defendant's previous record as submitted by defense counsel, this court finds the defendant, Glenn Ryan Werner, not guilty by reason of insanity to the charges of murder in the first degree, counts one, two, and three. It is therefore the opinion and judgment of this court that the defendant, Glenn Ryan Werner, in accordance with Title 15, be remanded to the... Seven for a while. Now I realize it's a high security section, but if you respond to treatment as you have in the past, I see no reason why we shouldn't be able to move you out into the wards in a few weeks. Thanks, Doc. You know I'm going to do my best. I know. Just listen to the staff, behave yourself, and take your medication. It's the only thing I can expect of you now. Anything you say, Dr. Avila. I'm really going to try this time. I really am. I feel pretty good about everything right now. And I know I'm going to make it. In fact, I'm going to be out of here sooner than you think.